Adapt Health has multiple contact centers uh, throughout the United States. Uh, and we currently have a contact center population of approximately 4,500 agents. Adapt Health decided to go out to bid for another solution to bring all of our um, operations into one uh, contact center solution. Uh, we wanted the ability to um, have things like workforce optimization, workforce management, which is really critical to our success now. We didn't have any information about what our agents were doing or what our occupancy needed to be. We, we were using spreadsheets at the time. So we really didn't have a lot of that really predictive information that we could use then to make decisions. From the workforce engagement management perspective, um, Adapt Health is utilizing, for the most part, all of the suite uh, of product. But when it comes to scheduling and forecasting, it completely changed everything about how we look at, you know, scheduling of agents, um, occupancy, um, staffing needs, and all of that. Quality management is something we also heavily use. So we utilize that to, to kind of uh, guide the agents to, to, to a better experience for the customer. And then in addition, gamification is something that we, we took to like right away when it, when it was released. Um, we find that it's really nice to be able to present something to the agent like the gamification homepage. It gives everything in one place. And we like that because, you know, we like to be able to show that the agent has, uh, you know, quality things to, to, to look at, what their schedule is, putting that all in one spot. Uh, our agents really, really like that. So since we brought uh, workforce engagement management into Adapt Health, uh, service level increases was the first thing that we saw. Abandon rate go down, average channel time go down, after call work time go down. And that was the case in all circumstances where we deployed it. We essentially saw the forecasting and the scheduling time almost become a, a non-existent thing. The suggestions um, that the forecasting model uh, provides allows us to re make really informed decisions so that we, we know that you know, if we do this, then we will likely see this outcome, and that has been the case. We're able to make decisions based on insights using data that we didn't have access to in the past. It's not just workforce, um, it's also quality, it's sentiment, it's transcription, it's topics, it's all of it.